Hey everybody, we had a problem with foam coming out the drain, standpipe drain pipe on our Speed Clean washing machine. Um, we've had this for almost two years. I installed it, um, watched it naturally the first few times to make sure I didn't have any blockage or backup in the standpipe. Didn't, everything was going well. One time I did notice a good amount of foam coming out from that area. And I had been out spraying chemicals on the lawn or bleaching the house or something. So I thought, okay, it was something in my clothes that I was washing that caused it. Um, kept an eye on it the next day. Didn't really see anything. Didn't worry much about it. A couple of weeks ago, we're coming in the room and I've got water out on the floor. Go back and look. And that entire cavity is filled with foam. And all the way down to the wall to the floor is full of foam. And it's so bad that it actually turned to a liquid and ran out front. Um, started looking online. Some people were saying, make sure you have the standpipe adapter in there. Um, they, they don't give you a whole lot of directions, but the directions tell you to only use the standpipe adapter if your standpipe diameter is two inches or less. That's not my case, so I didn't install it. But I thought, okay, I kept the thing. So I put it in, and that's the black... You can see the very top lip of it on the very bottom of that. It's actually about two or three inches deep. It goes in very snug. It went all the way down. It really fit in there snug. I thought for sure that was the answer. Did another load? Nope, I'm still getting foam out. Um, I went to my Speed Queen store where I bought these. I went right back to the service department and the girl there said, well, she's experienced it herself but she has an old house and she thought maybe her pipes were just backing up. I didn't think that was the case. Um, I called Speed Queen Direct, got a person, got a nice person. They've heard of the issue and they'll go through all the steps like change your detergent, too much detergent, your, your pipes aren't draining, a whole bunch of things that it could be, and it could be. Um, but then she said to make sure we rinse out all the soap suds that might be in the machine behind the walls that you can't see. There's a whole area behind there. She said, put in one cup of distilled white vinegar and one tablespoon of Dawn dishwashing liquid, run it on heavy duty, run it on hot, no clothes, deep fill. I did that. Again, there's no soap in it this time, but I got no foam out the drain pipe. And in fact, the next load of laundry, I got no foam out the drain pipe. Um, kept looking around, seeing what am I going to do? How am I going to fix this thing? And I started watching this. And what I noticed is on this machine, the spin cycle is amazing. Since we've owned it, we noticed that these clothes spin so fast and so hard, the clothes almost come out close to dry. Um, there is no really instructions that come with this. But if you go online and you simply type in Speed Queen Washer and your model number, a file will come up, mine's the TC5. The model number will come up and down near the bottom is all these different cycles and what all they do. And depending on what cycle you've got, there's a high speed agitation and a low speed agitation and a high speed or a low speed spin, depending on what you've got, what you're selecting on the dials. Um, and it goes through all of them, so they're there. I noticed that when I have this on a setting that calls for the high speed spin, I don't have any foam coming out the back all through it until it's about four or five minutes into the final spin cycle. Then, even with the standpipe adapter in there snug, I'm getting foam bubbles out the back. And in the last, like I said, three to four minutes after it starts, it just appears like crazy. It's amazing how much foam comes out of there just in the last three or four minutes of this. Sometimes to the point it still wants to run down the wall. So I'm sitting here watching it, trying to figure it out. And I realize, I, I know how these work. They, they start to spin, they pump out the water. And then the pump is still running for the entire time that the spin cycle is ringing out that last little bit of water. So while it is pumping, and it really has no more water to pump, it's pumping air. So there's either soap in here still in the clothes, which isn't the case, 
or it's in the machine somehow, or it's simply pumping air into soap that still is left on the walls of the standpipe adapter because my pipes are clear. I have absolutely no blockage at all. But it's simply because this thing pumps so hard, it's pumping so much air in the spin cycle, it's creating all that foam. Um, it's great that it rings it that hard. I like that. I don't want to change that because I could go just to a lower speed spin. But again, it's how hard this thing pumps. So I'm thinking, all right, what can I do for that? And when I tried the cup of vinegar and got no bubbles, I thought, okay, well, I know vinegar is good for most clothes. Um, let's try it. So I started off with, this is the detergent we used. I started with a cap full when we put the machine, when we put laundry in the machine and the water is in it and we put our detergent in, we immediately turn around and put in one cap full of the white vinegar, which equates here to be one ounce. So one cap of laundry detergent in a full load, one ounce of white vinegar. We put it in during the wash cycle and I get no foam. And I really thought I would have to do that at the rinse cycle but that wasn't the case. We can add it during the wash cycle, add the detergent and the vinegar, and we get absolutely no more foam out the back. We run at least 15 loads of laundry through here using all the different cycles. And again, we have absolutely no foam coming out of it. So that is our cure. That's the answer that I've come up with. It seems to work well for us. It's simply generic white vinegar, one ounce, put it in with your wash. See if that helps it for you. Um, again, you can go online, you can find your manual. Something that I found very interesting when I was doing this, I'm sitting here watching this thing, and I'm used to our old washing machine. It would fill, wash, agitate, drain, refill again, agitate while it's rinsing, drain, and then spin. When this thing is in normal, which is now economy, there is no drain and fill on the rinse. It fills, it washes, it starts to spin. While it's spinning, it periodically splashes some water in and hits the clothes that are spinning around and kind of runs a tiny bit of water through them while they're spinning. But your traditional wash and your traditional separate fill and rinse is gone on the eco cycle. So I had to go look in the manual and sure enough, eco cycle, rinse, there's no fill and agitate. There's a fill and agitate spin for the wash, but none for the rinse. So that's part of the energy saving items. And again, you can bypass that by changing what um, mode you're using and you can also change it by using the buttons on the options on there. You can set extra rinse, you can set deep rinse, you can do that kind of thing if you want to, but you can find this online and it will tell you exactly what's going on here. So again, simple answer for us. And again, we've done about 15 loads through here, has worked extremely well. We get zero foam out the back anymore. Simply add one ounce roughly of white vinegar to your laundry as you add the dish or whatever, not dish, detergent that you're using. I know vinegar is good for a lot of clothes. It's recommended to clean a lot of clothes. I don't know that it's safe for everything. So don't take my word for it. If you're washing delicate stuff, anything unusual, anything other than common towels and cotton and, and clothes, you know, look into that. But I know for just general purpose laundry, white vinegar is good. Um, that has worked for us. Um, I don't look to get money off of any of my YouTube videos, but I'll, all I'm trying to do is help people figure things out that I have sat here and figure things out. If you please click the like, bu like button or leave me a comment, all that does is in YouTube or Google searches algorithm, it will make it so that the next person that pops up speed queen washer drain foam it'll start popping this video up so they can see it. And so hopefully it helps them also. So again, if you would, please click the like button and leave me a comment. I'll always comment back. Um, that has worked very well for me. When I find a fix to something that bugs me, that's why I do these videos and just to hope that it helps somewhere else. 
Hope this helps you. Um, have a great day and God bless.